Well hello there, I'm Christine and welcome to my channel and today we have the Sun in Sagittarius, the Sun card, um, which is a very active energy of creativity and spark and confidence and action to be able to break through barriers, squaring up to Neptune in Pisces which is a passive, nebulous, um, often a spaced out, um, emotional energy that can be easily affected by others. Um, and it needs to sort of think about things. It's very um, passive in its energy. Um, but Neptune, the reason I put the cards out here is because um, Neptune speaks in images. So if we look at these cards once again, we see that the sun has broken through barriers and is on its merry way. You've got the red action and the sun is bright and the sunflowers are going, yes, you can do it. And we also see that the sun wants to bring its vitality to Neptune's inspiration because here with Neptune, whilst it's in a meditative state of the hangman waiting, there's still things going on. It's not static. It's just a gentle, passive, wondering, thinking, creative sense. And so if we are to ask ourselves under this vibration what is my dream because that's and the light bulb comes on what is my dream and so if I just want to just move this camera over here I can find that we look at that and we ask the cards how where can I bring more inspiration? How can I move from more inspiration, from my inspiration state uh, to becoming some doing, to start creating what it is I want to create? So. There on the bottom, and we're just going to take it here. Well, we've just we've got the nine of cups, and we've got the four of cups, and we've got the six of swords. So, looking at these cards, the nine of cups is actually Jupiter in Pisces, and we've had Jupiter in Pisces that has been. Um, Stir, not stirring up but encouraging Neptune to act on its dreams and thinking you, all this can be yours you just have to get with it and go to the next stage you need to not be sitting there and waiting there's plenty on offer for you with the four of cups you just need to think this is what I want to do because sometimes with uh, the Neptune in Pisces energy, you know deep down that you can do anything. You can have all of this. You can do this. But it's which one do you want to do? What, what, what will motivate me to select something that I want to do now and then get moving and getting my life moving in the direction that I want it to go? And knowing that you have to get up and get that movement happening and uh, that takes its own time in its own way to know but you but you are even though you're sitting there in this state you are still thinking and preparing and in that thinking stage before you are in that action stage and you know we go from thinking to action and when we're ready to take action, we then find that we can get things moving the way we want them to go. And we'll get the communication of the sun's energy to drive us forward to becoming where we want to go. And we'll be able to cross the river and get our plans all happening, get things moving quickly. So I thought I'd draw a card and also what will help us get moving is to talk 
to the right people. This is a card of communication and let your ideas and your ideas get out of there, out into the world, put your things out in the world and don't be frightened of failure, just start throwing out things into the world and um, you will hit you will hit the bullseye that you want to hit. So I just sort of thought I'd also ask the making oracle, um, making magic oracle. I just felt from Priestess Moon, I just felt draw to using that today. And I just sort of thought we'll see what these cards have to say. And I'm going to just take one from the top. <laughs> this is very Neptune in Pisces. One enchanted evening. You will find the perfect night to do what you want to do. So maybe follow your dreams. Journal, put it down. Dream. Say tonight in my dream I'm going to get what I need to know to be able to get my things moving in the direction that I want to go. And I will be successful because I will know what my dream is. I'll be able to communicate my dream and I'll be able to take action on my dream. And out of interest, let's have a look what is at the bottom of this card. And that brings healing. Healing will come. Healing, true healing of the mind, body and soul. So that's that sense of balance that sense of moving forward, that sense of being able to do what you want to do, be able to work with your dream and it will also, the out, total outcome with the sun's vitality, moving to the healing energy of Neptune's dreaming, we will get a sense I'll put that there, of true healing because we have achieved what we wanted to achieve and it's not a rush it's not about going out going from A to B it's about making a list of all the things that you need to do what action do I need to take to, to achieve my dream and then it's about doing one thing what's one thing that brings me closer instead of all up in the air go with that one thing that brings me closer to being grounded and being able to step into the stream of life and be able to do what it is that you want to do and um, get there in your own time and in your own way. So that is an energy reading for today based on the planets and the tarot. Um, thank you for watching.